mess. Republican Congressman Kevin Brady, senior member of the House Ways and Means Committee, uh, you'll be in that hearing room today. Sir, good morning to you, and thank you for your time. Good morning, Bill. Uh, I don't know. What's your first question? You thought about it overnight? What'd you come up with? Well, look, like many Americans, we've got a lot of questions about this website, but I think what's becoming clear is the flaw is not simply the website. The flaw is the law itself. When you try to inject 159 new federal agencies, bureaucracies, and commissions between you and your health care, this is what happens. And it, this is the easy part. This was just the coverage. Wait till the government starts making decisions on patient care, on treatments and reimbursements. Well, if that's the, if that, that's the that case, means, you're going to have a lot more hearings on this. But more to the yeah. point, CMS, they were the ones we were told. A CMS decided to go live. CMS decided on the testing. CMS decided on October 1st. I mean, all, that, that Canadian contractor that you te that testified, all the fingers of blame went to CMS. Is that where yeah. it stops? Well, right now, CMS is the quarterback of the exchanges and the website. You know, key questions uh, that many of us have, credibility. You know, the White House, Secretary Sibelius, CMS repeatedly told the American public this was ready to go on October 1. None of it proved truthful. So why should we believe them now when they say it will be okay soon? And also, as you pointed out, millions of Americans are being forced out of their health care plan because of this new law. Will this be ready? Will there be a gap in these families' coverage on January, January 1? My guess is, unfortunately, there will be. Um, I have an Associated Press article in my hand here. Um, Marilyn Tavener, as late as September, She's the one testifying today. Predicted that the Affordable Care Act would have a smooth launch on October 1st. What well, was she thinking? Well, well, I tell you, she she only repeated what everyone in the White House was saying. And in fact, several weeks before the October 1 launch, we asked the exchange director, "Have you tested this program successfully with just some pilot applications?" Uh, we were assured they had. Well, we learned now from documents that they weren't anywhere close to that. This goes to the whole issue of credibility. And, and the point being, Obamacare is not ready, so why not make it voluntary? Why force it on Americans who can't afford the higher prices and, frankly, don't want this uh, health care? Do you know if the president was shown the website before it went public? You know, I don't know. Uh, what have we have read from documents is certainly uh, the agency was the White House a lot. You know, I know the president claims to be, whenever there's a problem, nowhere near that problem, but this is his signature legacy issue in the White House. You know, I'd be surprised that he was such a distant commander-in-chief on this. 41 minutes away. Kevin Brady, thank you for your time now. We'll watch that hearing you, at Bill. 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Thank you.